Do I blend in? Oh, yes! Yes, guys, it's Paul Wallace from Supercars of London down at Yanimize with my brand new secret Nissan GTR because I'm going on one hell of a Pelosi road trip. And of course, I need this wrapped. So I'm going to be working with Yanni, Michelin, Pelotti to turn this beast into a motorsport monster. <laughs> right, so you've got your Nissan GTR. Yep. You've had a few cars like me. Yep. Talk to me, why Nissan GTR? I've ummed and ahed about it for so long. I've saved them an auto trader, I've taken them off. I've never driven one on the road. Okay. So it was at the point where I needed to get another car for this road trip. I've got Alex and Sam joining me. I was like, what do I do? And the GTR bridges the gap between the M2, which is rear wheel drive, a little bit fun to throw around. Yeah. And then the Mercy Largo, which is four wheel drive, a bloody sledgehammer that sounds amazing. So that GTR for me is the ultimate car and it's got quite a lot of boot space. So I'll be able to get loads of stuff in. Are you going to be driving that or are you going to drive the Mercy? Yeah, the Lambo. The Mercy, the whole time? <laughs> Most of the time, just because I don't trust anyone else driving it. How many miles are you doing? It's around, well, the North Coast 500 is 500 miles. The Lambo, I'm probably not going to drive there. Okay. Everything else will drive there. Start 500 miles, get back to the point. Lambo loaded back onto the truck. We'll drive everything else back down. Okay. It's going to be a monster trip. It's, it sounds like a monster trip. Yeah. I'm not sure if the Mercy's going to do it all. So yeah, you're probably better off sticking on a truck. <laughs> Why does no one have faith in that car? What are you thinking? Are we going for a full wrap? Are we total colour change? Are we going to go? We're going to go chrome. Uh, we are not going chrome. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough GTRs in chrome to know that's not what I want. I kind of want to make it look like a race car. A few logos on the car, splash of colour. I'm thinking Japanese flag, but not just... Oh, red and white. Yeah, red and white, but keep quite a lot of the black as well, because I love black cars. Make it stand out. So I've pretty much got the brief. Yeah. I know what we want. Give me the key, please. Here we go. And leave this bad boy with me. So we've measured it, taped it up. It's exactly the same as the other side. And now we're going to lay the gloss white. So Paul Wallace's car, um, dropped it off. I've seen the car and now time to come up with a design. Yeah, fine, let's do it. He's working with Pilotti. He is indeed. Do you know who Pilotti are? I've done some research. They've been around around 20 years and they've got into like the lifestyle thing now. So where they started, obviously, from sort of race, racing shoes, motorsport, and they've brought all that technology across to, to driving shoes. Driving For shoes. you and I. Handmade, Portugal, Italy. See, when we got the brief, obviously, you and Paul have gone through yep. bits of design and whatever else, and what we've done downstairs is tweak it a little bit. Now, one thing that Pilotti are known for is their little Easter eggs in their, some of their shoes. Yeah. So you got the Le Mans. That must hurt though when you put your foot in. <laughs> yeah. So they've got their Le Mans edition ones that has got like the, the Le Mans track and so on and so forth. So I wanted to try and keep that going a little bit. Yeah. They've got um, a roll control 2.0 sole. Now, essentially what that does in layman's terms is it allows you to roll your foot when you're pressing your pedals and whatever else. Okay. So the way I've looked at it is when you look at a shoe, you've got this big pinstripe, if you like, on the bottom of it, which is what I've tried to incorporate across the bottom of the car. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Not your average bear, mate. They've laid the white vinyl down, then they've laid like a pin line into the shape they want the red, and then laid the cutting tape against the pin line. Now laying the red vinyl down, and then when they pull the cutting tape out, it should leave that nice curved shape. So we'll see how good it looks. 
been spending a lot of time laying that pin line down, haven't you, Dan? <laughs> you can so talk, Dan, Dan, you can talk. No, no, I don't even know. No, why <laughs> Dan's a little shy on camera. <laughs> So behind me guys, you've got the Nissan GTR, Paul Wallace's car, supercars of London. Um, as you can see, we have started cracking on, essentially laying all the livery and the decals onto the vehicle. But we've so far got the colors on, so the white and the red have gone on. We've still got to do complete the other side of the vehicle, so the driver's side. Then we've got to jump onto the rear section of the vehicle, so the boot lid and part of the rear bumper. And then we've got all the sign writing to go on top. So Pilotti logo is absolutely everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's, it's getting there, but it does take a while just to get the shapes absolutely right. There's a lot of masking tape, cutting tape, and everything that we've gone through just to make sure that the lines are perfect. But check it out. In terms of doing certain things on this car, getting the line straight and whatever else, it's all very well and good designing something on a computer screen, but to make it reality is quite difficult. So what we found challenging is getting like that bottom white line across the bottom there, um, absolutely perfect. Now what we've decided to do, if you come a little bit closer, is the actual swage line on the actual rear arch is where we've decided we wanted that line. So that is approximately two inches from there. Uh, from, from the edge of the arch to the swage line. And what we've had to do is continue that all the way across the bottom of the vehicle. So Naomi and Dan have spent an absolute age and eternity getting that bang on with cutting tape, masking tape, all sorts of different tapes, just to try and get that line absolutely bang on. But that's what we do. This is what we're paid to do. And that's what we try to achieve. Do I blend in? Can you see me? <laughs> yes, guys, it's Paul from Supercars of London back. Thank you to Yanni for the courtesy car, but I'm here to collect my Nissan GTR with the Pilotti race livery, and this is going to be the first time that I've seen it. Hi, Paul. <laughs> How are you? S Padre. How's it going? Usually I just give him a hug, but obviously I can't today. Uh, really well, really well. We're out here today because your car's already outside. Okay. It's behind this I can gate. see the roof already. You I can't can, see nothing because it's so short. I can see the car. <laughs> you can just see the top of the, the I'm gate. I'm pretty sure there's a slope here. <laughs> <laughs> so she's complete. I personally think she looks amazing. I think you got it right yeah. uh, with the black, red and white. And obviously myself and Bert come up with a few little ideas. Yeah. Um, obviously Pilotti came up with some stuff. And between us all, we've created a masterpiece. I would call it a masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, we're, gonna I... see, we're gonna see what they think at home as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I think the C63 that we did with the sort of rally inspired worked so well with that car. So I just think the GTR has got the perfect blank canvas. Uh, but I'm also nervous because going on a road trip and it's my car. <laughs> but listen, it has a nice base. It was a black GTR. Yeah. It was a good spec car as well. I think it's turned it into something something a little bit special. I can see the wing now. I can ready? still just see the roof line. Let's you ready? Go. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. open the gate for you. Oh, okay. I'm just so I don't want you trying to reach over. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, yes. Ooh. And the sun on it as well just worked. <laughs> yeah, you organised that as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the pinstripes. This looks like it's straight out of Gran Turismo. This is sick. Even just that rear arch there looks amazing. I think this is the first time I've seen like the Pilotti logo by itself. It's actually very cool. Yeah. And if you know it, 
It's yeah. even more cool. And the drivers, the drivers. And the phone rings. I'm a, I'm a proper driver, you're so busy. You're a proper driver? Yeah, yeah, I am, look, I've got the driving shoes on. I'm ready to go. Yeah, the driving shoes and um, <laughs> his Instagram on the side doesn't actually make him a driver. Get that shot, anyone got that shot? No, honestly, you have absolutely smashed this out of the park. And also, this is really cool, the fact that you've left the spoiler black. I didn't know whether you Better. were gonna, yeah, it just breaks up the red. Another car complete for Paul Wallace and Supercars of London. And have you got the key or not? Is it up and down? No, <laughs> key's gonna go in there somewhere. Yeah. But I'm gonna finish the video right now. So thank you to Paul Wallace. Thank you. Pelotti. Yep. Michelin. Yep. And Yanomai's. And Yanomai's. Good luck on your road <laughs> yeah. trip. Thank you very much. And um, enjoy. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like Paul Wallace as well. We like Paul Wallace. Paul Wallace is part of like the YouTube family. And um, we'll see you soon. Take care.